Well, I said that we were going to have an update with the cuts midday. The Chicago Bears have now cut 15 players. That's 13 players in addition to P.J. Walker and Alex Leatherwood who have already been cut by the team. We're going to talk about it all the more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. I'm the host here. Hey, as you guys can follow the channel right off the top at Shy Bears Central on every social media platform, we have just a quick update episode for you guys. We'll break it all down a little bit more in detail on tomorrow's cut special episode late tomorrow night. So be on the lookout for that right after the cut deadline. We'll, we'll be going live to talk about all the cuts and everything that happened around uh, with the Chicago Bears. But we now have the number of cuts are up to 15. That's 13 players in addition to Alex uh, Leatherwood and P.J. Walker who have now been cut and or waived by the Chicago Bears. Adding to that is uh, Gabe Hoy, an offensive lineman. We have defensive lineman Bravion Roy, who I talked about earlier. Kellen Deesh as well, another offensive lineman, is added to that. Logan Steenberg is added to that list as well. Bobby Haskins, another offensive lineman. Andrew Brown, a defensive tackle. And Michael Ojemudia, uh, a defensive back cornerback, who actually I think played pretty well in a couple of games, but albeit you know, relative to his role and what he was asked for. Davion Taylor, the linebacker as well, joins that list with Darius Fontaine, uh, Lashon Pitts, a tight end and wide receiver, those two, Logan Steenberg, DeAnthony Jones, who I talked about, and uh, Nisba Webster, all cut or released by the Chicago Bears. They will not be on the 53-man roster. This brings about half of the cuts that the Chicago Bears uh, needed to make to their roster before the cut deadline day tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, as we said on the uh, daily episode earlier today, um, Ryan Poles, Matt Eberflus had a lot of work to do to, you know, kind of look over that roster and determine these were the first names that they get to release now. It's going to get a little bit tighter each time. Uh, things, every step that goes by, you know, they're going to have to make more and more cuts. The Bears had to cut 39 players. So now that they've cut uh, 15, that still leaves 24 players left to be cut by the Chicago Bears by tomorrow's deadline at 4.30 p.m. I believe that's Eastern time. It may be Chicago time, but one or the other. 4.30 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, Eastern time. It is Eastern time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, 3 p.m. Central time, so 4 p.m. Uh, Eastern time is when they have to get the roster down to uh, 53 players. So we're a little bit under 24 hours exactly away from play from the Bears having to have that roster down to 53 men. So um, 24 players left to be cut by the Chicago Bears. Are you guys surprised by any of the names on the list? None of the names really are shocking or surprising to me. Um, I, I will expect a couple of those players as well to be named or moved over to the practice squad uh, with all things said and, said and done. So don't be surprised if, if even though those names are now listed on the cut or waived uh, names, lift, if some of those names don't stick around as far as at least being on the uh, on the practice squad going forward with the team. But let me know what you guys think. Out of the cuts that have been made so far, what are the ones that are most glaring to you? Do you think that the Chicago Bears may regret any of these names? I still think Alex Leatherwood, you guys know, there's. I still think there's a pretty solid player in that he may be one. Kellen Deesh as well is one that long-term, I'm not saying immediately if the Bears don't bring him to the practice squad, I'm not saying that they're going to immediately like regret not having him around on the roster, but I do think that that's another name that, you know, if going into the right uh, situation, he's played pretty good. Pro Football Focus actually ranks him pretty solidly. I think he grades out at about a, a 79-80, which isn't amazing, but solid. He could be one that stands out as well uh, that could eventually be, you know, somebody that, you know, the Bears may look at and, and may need as far as the offensive line depth, depending on where the health goes. Now, with this cut, there's a lot of offensive linemen named in this, and we know that the depth around the offensive line has been questionable. We haven't gotten to see that full, healthy uh, starting offensive line out there yet. Uh, we, we expect Tevin Jenkins to be a player that's probably going to be missing uh, some time. We'll end up seeing if that happens. But, you know, the Bears have cut uh, over six offensive linemen in these cuts. So, uh, again, as I talked about on, like, uh, today's daily episode, that may signify maybe some veterans. Maybe they're going to be watching the waiver wire to see if any veteran offensive lineman can come in. Or maybe that signifies also that they're more confident than what kind of Bears fans sit right now on uh, the health of that offensive line. They may be extremely high on that. J. Tyree Carter is definitely going to be a player uh, that that definitely is going to have to step up. He's going to be called on a lot as well. So, hey, the Bears have made, the, made a lot of cuts. I don't think that they're done necessarily for the day. Do not be surprised if there's another update episode coming to you guys at some point in the day but make sure you stay tuned in 
Follow us at Shy Bear Central on every social media platform. You can also hit that notification bell as well. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, Chicago Bear Central at gmail.com. Lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail to sound off, give us your thoughts on any of these cuts so far. 773-242-9336. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related because of you guys and like liked in every episode on Chi Town up, but bear down. Love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Break, 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 break.